Here we are at Henning Sunday Brunch Buffet. It's kind of a strange buffet because it's actually inside this grocery store. So you wouldn't know it was here unless you were from the area. Let's head inside and check it out and see what they have to offer. Ba 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 ba. I'm at Henning's Fresh Market Buffet for their Sunday brunch. They have lots of great options. It's a real combination between breakfast and lunch. They have fried chicken, they have fresh omelets, lots of great stuff. Let's dig in and see what's good. Bacon, sausage, scrapple, my favorite, and cheese. They don't have biscuits here, which is a little bit sad, but it's okay. They have basically hamburger buns out there. I'm gonna make my own breakfast sandwich here. Scrapple and cheese. That is delicious. I'm a huge fan of Scrapple. There's one food or industry I like to get uh, sponsored by. Aside from Sobe Water, it would be Scrapple. Big Scrapple fan. We try the same thing with the bacon. You hear a lot of background noise because we're actually inside of a grocery store. I'm near the deli, they're cutting meats, there's all kinds of noise in the back right here. It does make it a bad experience, but if you hear something, that's what you're hearing. Well, the bacon's perfect. A lot of times the buffet days, the bacon will be very dried out. Not here. Try the sausages. I'm not sure what, what kind of sausage this is, but I'm getting almost like a hint of a Slim Jim type flavor to it. Not a texture, but just flavor. Fortunately, I didn't get enough buns. This is. Mm. I know if you're watching it internationally, you have no idea what Scrapple is. I put it up in every video, but it's basically the lowest of the low of the pig. It's delicious. I'm not going to waste any of that cheese. Add it to the next tray. Got two separate omelets. They both have ham, bacon, and sausage in it. One also has cheese. They normally give you about two eggs in an omelet here. They know who, they know who I am, so they gave you larger ones. Each of these omelets weighs a little over a pound. Uh, but they don't count the eggs because they don't use eggs. It's already coming out of the container. So there, there's not an exact count in here, but uh, over one pound omelet's a pretty big omelet. Mm. This, is the, this one doesn't have any cheese in it. It's very deceptive because you see they have deep dishes here, which is one of my favorite parts about coming here. You can really pile a lot under one of your containers. Omelets are so good. Now, I have no idea what a normal omelet is. I did come with two other people. They didn't get omelets. Obviously, they know who I am, so they, maybe they overstuffed it. I'm not sure, but this is full of meat. She had 10 of these. <laughs> I know most people will probably be full after one of these omelets, or at least relatively. But I'm glad I can eat a lot because these are so good. This one I added cheese to. Let's see if it's better with cheese. I think I like cheese better. This is Cheddar Jack. While I work on the second omelet, I'm going to show you every option on the buffet. This is the salad bar section. What I like best about this is they have it right there, that fresh sliced chicken breast. Very good. All this produce is nice and fresh. They have some cereal, some bread and hamburger rolls, some more salad bar type options, and some fresh fruit. And then you get to the hot sections. This is more like a lunch type section. 
So there's lots of options here. Scrapple being my favorite by far. And then some sticky buns, which I didn't get. They're really good though. And some other hot options. So there's lots of different choices here, which I like. And you can do your own omelets or waffles. You just ask for them. And here's the omelet options. There's tons of options. They also have a full soup section and a dessert bar, which I didn't get. And then they have specialty sodas. Here's the specialty sodas from Reading Draft and regular sodas that you typically find everywhere. Both those omelets were great. Definitely good cheese in Now we have beef brisket, mac and cheese, and something called taco, I have to get the name of that. I'm not sure what this is called again. Taco something. It's a mix of a lot of different stuff. We'll start with this. Taco item. Mm. It's like ground beef, lots of peppers, corn. Not sure why it would be called taco. Maybe I had the name wrong. The beef in this is really good. There's a lot in here. A lot of peppers and onions. Okay. Mm -hmm. That's the rest of the people that came with me. My wife and one of my daughters. They're already done. And they're gonna walk to the grocery store. Mac and cheese. Mmm. I got distracted and dropped mac and cheese. That was hard. I hate to waste food. Can't tell the type of cheese they use in this. But it's really thick. I like when you can just uh, chop off a portion of mac and cheese and pick it up. Versus the, the more watery kind. And this is my, the way I prefer it. Now on to the brisket. That's a surprise. I mean, to me, visually, this this didn't look like, wow, it's going to taste great. This tastes really good. Fried chicken, which I know is cold, so this isn't going to be a great review of the fried chicken. And the fries are stone cold now. But we'll take that into account. This is my fault. Mmm. I don't often eat fried chicken because I'm not a big fan of most of the coatings. Like Kentucky Fried Chicken has that real thick coating. This definitely has a coating outside the skin, but not near as thick. You can actually taste the chicken, which is really nice. This chicken is good. I'm gonna add in a voiceover of the conversation I just had. I don't wanna repeat it right now as the people are sitting right behind me, but good fried. As I was getting a refill on my soda, one of the fellow diners felt compelled to come up to me to tell me he could eat more food than I can. Not now, we're roughly the same age, but when he was younger, he could eat more food than me. First, I don't know why he thought I cared, but I was thinking, really, you could eat more than me? He's like, oh, all my friends said I ate more than anybody. I was like, well, you know, I have numerous world records. No, no, I could out-eat you. I could eat more than you. I don't know who would watch your eating videos. I'm like, I'm, I'm not really sure uh, I know you or I even approached you for your opinion on anything. But thank you very much. Duly noted that you are not going to watch my eating videos and you can eat more than me. You know how these fries taste that, um, when they're cold. Cold fries are always are dramatically worse than hot french fries. That was my fault. I like how they're seasoned though. All right, another plate down. Let's head back down and get some seconds. See what's good. Maybe put out some new stuff. A couple of repeats and some new things. 
Of course, I got more scrapple, but I got some French fries. I wanted to try the French fries hot, give them a good review. Mmm. Definitely good French fries. Got some more of the diet root beer, which is which is good. Then a new item, seafood cakes. And got some potato salad and hash browns. Visually, I'm not sure about the seafood cake or the hash browns, but looks aren't near as, as important as how it tastes. Mmm. Everything you want in a hash brown. Mashed potatoes. They're a little thicker than they normally are. And they taste good because I've talked to the chefs here many times about this and they are, I know there's a lot of butter in here. I pre prefer them not quite so thick, um, but the taste is there. I don't think there's anything I didn't like so far. Seafood cake. I can definitely taste fish in there. I'm not picking up anything else, but my flavor palette's not the best. When you add that fried coating, it kind of throws me off. There's no way I could eat a lot of these. That coating would get to me after a while. It's perfect having a couple of these. It's good. It looks like it's got the that fake crab meat. Definitely two or three different things in here. Okay, that one's done. This is my meat plate. You know I had to get more scrap. And this scrapple's fresh. I saw them just put it out. It's one of the benefits of going to a, like a smaller type buffet. They don't put a lot of food out. But as soon as it's you know, empty, they immediately refill it, so they're always cooking stuff. Uh, it's not like some of the buffets, they have it prepared in back, and they pull the tray out, so that, that might have been cooked, you know, a half hour ago, hour ago. This is all fresh. Mm. Just got one meatball to give it a try. That's good. I don't know, there's nothing really for, to avoid here. This is fresh brisket they just put out. This you rarely see on a buffet. This is on the salad bar portion, just sliced chicken breast. Take as much as you want. I would assume this would dry out, but it's not dry at all. And a bunch of different fruit. I think they got most of the fruit up there. They might have also had peaches. That was the Henning's Fresh Market Buffet Sunday Brunch, $15.99. I think it's well worth it. It's not a huge buffet as far as size-wise, but they have lots of different items. Constantly refill it with fresh cooked food. It's well worth it. Give it a try if you're in the area. Thanks for coming to another video. And I'll see you guys again soon. Don't forget to check me out on Facebook at Real Notorious B.O.B. There are different shorter edits of all my videos.